Eric Holmquist. I'm the drum tech for Phil E. Hall of Kansas. One, one you got to know a lot about drums. Um, you got to know how to replace drum heads. Uh, you need to know how to maintain cymbals. You need to know how to pretty much maintain a drum kit. You need to know what kind of hardware fits with what kind of hardware, what fits with what kind of hardware. Um, you also, it helps to be a drummer too. To, uh, to be a drum tech, it helps. Blow. I've known Kansas for 20 years now. Kansas was my favorite band growing up. Uh, I have their name tattooed on my leg. You know? um, and after seeing them about 300 times, Phil called me and said, hey man, I need a drum tech. I was like, okay, cool. You know? So I went to Europe for a month and a half and came back to the States. And that was six years ago. Well, my day started in Greensboro, North Carolina this morning. Twelve hours later, here we are in lovely Las Vegas. Um, I flew from Greensboro, North Carolina to Atlanta. I had a two-hour layover in Atlanta, I want to say, and jumped in an airplane here, got here, dropped my bags off in the hotel room, came down here, found that black drum kit sitting up there in pieces. And, uh, you know, after being a drum tech for Phil for so many years, you know exactly where everything's pretty much supposed to go. He'll come in tomorrow and just tweak a little thing, you know, a couple little things here and there. And that'll be it. Great. I've been around, I'm a slut. Well, back in 1997, I want to say, 98, uh, we went to London and did an album with the London Symphony Orchestra. Um, and we did a symphony tour back in 98 and half of 99. And it just came about a couple years ago, we did a DVD last year to Topeka, Kansas. Um, and the whole symphony tour started just getting popular again, you know, we're doing a couple symphony gigs here, a couple there, but this coming fall we're doing the full collegiate symphony tour with all the colleges all over the United States. We're doing University of Alabama, Oklahoma State, University of Texas, University of Arizona, uh, we're doing just a handful that you can find on kansasband.com. Um, and it's all sponsored by Diodario and Evans Drumheads. Kit is set up the same. Uh, symphony rehearses, come in, you know, the band will come in for an hour or two, rehearse with the symphony. And then 8 o'clock, lights go out, Kansas with the symphony comes on stage, plays an hour and a half, two hours, and off to the next city we go. fun business, it really is, if you're single. If you're single and if you don't have family or kids or anything like that, it's a great, great, great experience. Um, it does have its pros and cons, just like any job does. I mean, you know, any nine to five job, you're going to have something you really dislike about it. One thing I really dislike about my job is lack of sleep, I guess. You know, traveling's Traveling, it is what it is, you know. Our, our whole joke on the road is, is that we get paid to travel, and the gigs we pretty much just end up doing for free. I mean, we travel so much, by the time we get to the gig, it's like, oh, this is easy. Traveling is the hard part. Um, the end of life's pretty much, for me, it's waking up at 3 in the morning, driving an hour and a half. I live in Chicago, driving about an hour to, or an hour and a half to O'Hare Airport. Flying to a city, jumping in a rental van, driving between anywhere between 50 and 250 miles to um, a theater, an arena, an amphitheater, festival fair, something like that. Setting up, waiting for a couple hours for the local bands to play. We'll go on at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock sometimes. Tear down, pack it all up in the truck, leave the gig maybe 11, 12 o'clock, get to the hotel at 1 or 2 sleep for a couple hours and do it all over again the next day. That's what it all pretty much is, you know. Um, when we're on a bus, like when 
Brett and I were on a bus this past year with the Sticks and Formula Kansas United in the Rock Tour. It was great because we got to sleep all the time. We're on a bus, you know. We played from 7 to 7.40 every night. We were on the bus by 8.30 while they were going on and, you know, have a couple cocktails in the background or, you know, for the non-drinkers, sit up, you know, wherever, watch a movie, go to bed, wake up, and you're in a completely different city already at your job. So that was a good part about it. I'm just doing a bunch of session work right now, and um, uh, I'm doing some stuff in Nashville, I'm doing some stuff in Chicago, I'm doing some stuff in Indiana. Uh, I just did some stuff not too long ago out in uh, Los Angeles. So, it's keep me busy, but what's keep me busy is these guys for now. Winter time comes around, that's when I'll start playing a lot more with that. Not playing all that much. Um, we're staying busy though, we did about 100 shows this year. And here's to another 150 next year. Well, about 750 times I've probably set this drum set up. Not this one, but I don't get it. Give me your love,